Right, um, it was a nice sunny day. Um, campsite filling up nicely, so we thought we'd uh, take you for a little walk around the park. So, come along with us. So, this has uh, really filled up, hasn't it, over the last couple of days? Yeah. When we got here, it was uh, only a couple of tents. So this part's mainly the uh, the tent and camping area, but there is there's a few hard standing, yeah. And there's the little camping pods here. Yeah, so the, yeah. camping pods or glamping pods, glamping pods. Yeah, I think I think they're for two people, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So we're just coming up to uh, one of two shower blocks. Quite big ones. Uh, pretty much like you get on the continent, aren't they? Um. Yeah, they're quite spacious inside. They're not communal, no, they're individual showers. Yeah, individual showers, toilets. Very clean, very modern. Because the school holidays have just broken up, haven't they? Yeah, the school's not finished yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So the nice level pitch. Yeah. Yeah, I think they just run a little bit just for the uh, drainage. But not. Uh, if you were only staying one night, then without, yeah. um, without levelling. It's so, interesting looking at all the different units. Very uh, happy and there's some very big ones, aren't Some big what? Caravans. Caravans. Motor oh, homes. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it is a little breezy, so that might affect the uh, audio on, on here. Yeah. yeah, so coming up to this second uh, shower block, there is um, washing up facilities there as well. yesterday is that the cost for the pitch includes your, your motorhome or caravan and up to five people which is amazing yeah because I think did we pay 25 pounds a night? Um, yeah I think it worked out for two of us can you see just over there there's the uh, gypsy caravan gypsy type well. caravan yeah And again, it's, you know, just remind you, it's, uh, this is actually run by the council. Now look at this for the kids. A nice um, bike track, I suppose it is. Um, we're just coming up now to a quite a large um, children's play area. But we're going to take a ride into the, the dog walk of the site. And uh, 
just inside here is the dog walk. Come here, man. So it really is uh, ideal for families. As you can see, they've laid out a pathway around. It's just a small little wood type, isn't it? Yeah, but they put the logs on the yeah. side to, to make the, the path. <laughs> make the pathway. Because it's uh, nice and cool as well when, when the uh, you get away from the sunshine for a bit. Mm. Very atmospheric. You wouldn't think you were right next to a caravan. Uh, no. Well, like I was saying earlier on, it's absolutely ideal for families, um, as well as adults. Good value for money. Staff, very, very friendly. And of course, it's pet friendly as well. We've got a 15 minute walk down to the beach. Absolutely amazing beaches as well. Yeah, nice wide open beaches, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, plenty of space. And uh, up at this end, of the dogs are allowed on the beach for quite a while. Yeah, that's, that's quite, quite important. Quite a way yeah. before you get towards Bridlington. Yeah, to the, you can uh, walk a, what, a good half a mile, three quarters of a mile. Yeah, you, well, from where we are, as far as the Spa Theatre, for anybody who knows Bridlington, you can walk on the beach all the way along there yeah. and then you can walk the other way we we have a walk on the beach there i'm not sure just how far you can go but the, there were dogs we walked about 20 25 minutes along didn't we and, we did yeah and managed to uh and still she could run she could run around and she did Yeah, every now and then there's a a bench if you wanted to sit down and have a rest or just relax listen to the wind blowing in the trees So the touring park is 12 months old um, and with the statics, new static area just over there you can just see between the trees and then just uh, as you go outside the touring park entrance across the road there's the main uh, static caravan park which is all part of South Cliff Yeah, so we've just come out of the, uh, the wooded dog walk area and to the left there is the uh, children's play area. It's quite a big play area with uh, picnic tables around so you can bring your picnic down. There are actually some picnic tables within the, the fencing where the children's play areas but you can't yeah. take dogs in there yeah so but families who don't have a dog could bring your picnic down while two children play yeah. which is good but you look at the big open space also on this campsite um you can use gas barbecues 
and you can use disposable barbecues as long as they're raised, raised up off, off the, the floor, floor but yeah. not charcoal barbecues but that's fine I mean lots and lots of people that motorhome and caravan have got gas barbecues haven't you know? yeah you know like I mean the Kadak is pretty pretty um, common amongst campers we found them yeah wait Mel good girl sit down good girl Mel good girl. So when you arrive, that's the welcome centre there, and you come in <coughs> and you park your motor home in these large bays, there's two large bays for parking, go check in at the welcome centre, and then there's a, a vehicle recognition barrier down there, so it's all fairly straightforward. You've pre booked your holiday. And then just in front of me, there, the bins, general waste. They don't seem to do the recycling here. And then the uh, motor home point, just here. in for social distancing a very relaxing place mm -hmm. got lots of um, little saplings growing they? yeah which will make nice little yeah so it's a um, it's a place definitely we'd come back again without a doubt um, without a doubt it's a it's just in the perfect spot it's got everything I can't really complain about anything can we? No, because there is... Not that we complain anyway. No, we don't really. It'd have to be pretty bad for us to complain, but um, there's a little mini market on the other side, on this static side, and there's a pub stroke clubhouse over there. Yeah, which, 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 you, which you can use. Which then are not our sort of thing, but, well, shops are, if we need something, but the clubhouse things yeah. aren't really, are they? But, and around about the park there's plenty of dog bins. Loads of dog Even bins. Even though they encourage you to walk them in the in the wood. Side, but there are still plenty in case, aren't there? Yeah. Lots of water points. So in the water. It's all not around. Good. Good place. Good place, good, yeah. And good values. Absolutely, yeah. So we're just looking back to the uh, South Cliff Holiday Park, uh, just to the left of the uh, welcoming centre is this lane. It's the lane that leads down to the yachting area, the launching, where they launch all the yachts. So this is one of the routes you can take uh, to get down to the beach. Personally, I think it's the nicest route. There is some traffic that comes up and down, but not a lot. This is where they can store all the boats. So eventually it brings you down to the beach. And this is, uh, the beach is dog friendly.
dog friendly as far as you can see that way towards Skipsy and that way up as far as the Bridlington Spa isn't it where yeah, round the, about the there theater, yeah see, there's a I sign isn't there to say you can't yeah. so it's um, not bad really no